Hello everyone, uh, this is Hassan Jamil, aka Peace Treaty. I'm going to be recording my game against uh, Michael Stryker, it's an ITSL game. Um, by far, definitely my toughest opponent on my schedule. Um, and yeah, and this is going to be the first video that I upload to this channel. Um, first time I've ever done something like this where I, you know, um, record my own thoughts as I play the game and then post the video later. So hopefully um, you guys can enjoy the video and please do let me know um, either reach out to me by email whatsapp um, or in the comments of any improvements I can do to the setup maybe the audio the screen recording I'm completely new to all this so any tips would be highly appreciated and so I've sent Michael the invite um, hasn't accepted yet but I'm assuming he will soon since he's online And we'll just wait around for him a little bit. Okay, I see he sent me an email. Uh, peace treaty. And I am the USS. Yeah, I mean, this is probably the strongest. I've never played against Michael before. He's probably the strongest player I've ever played. Um, so it should be a should be a challenging match. But I mean, I don't know. I I don't. I'm not gonna give myself no chance. Um, you know, I think uh, with a little bit of luck, I think I have a chance here. So hopefully, okay. Here we go. Come on, five four ups. Let's go. <laughs> ah, okay, no four ops. That's uh, that's not bad either, I guess. Austria. Okay. Yep, nineteen ninety nine. All right. Duck and cover is nice. I just really hope I don't get purged here. Hmm. So I don't have defectors, so I can't go decoy. What do I headline here? Cambridge 5? Romanian? Not Romanian. <laughs> None of that newfangled tiny setup for me. <laughs> Independent Reds. Five year plans, good card. I don't know, man. Okay, Middle East, please have something. Europe. Oh, this is excellent. Okay, 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 I'm excited. Woohoo. Alright. This could not have gone better because I have duck and cover. So, wow. Alright. I think I place into France. Or do I break like West Germany? No, I just place into France. Place into France. Okay. I score Middle East. And then I duck and cover into France and Afghanistan. Threaten Pakistan. Um, so if he scores right now, I pick up Pakistan. That's the goal. That's the idea. I like this a lot. Okay. Thank God I, I headlined Cambridge. Otherwise, he's probably going to get away with Middle East and Europe domination this turn. Okay, deep breaths, deep breaths. Okay, duck and cover. So Asia is also around. Yeah, so this is a good dilemma I've put him in. Because um, I will fight for the scoring. Actually, I can't fight much, but he probably might not know that. I have Deco if he ever coos something, although cooing. Like if I play into Pakistan, he coos Pakistan. Um, I get Thailand, so. 
he probably should go Pakistan Malaysia here and give up because it's just I take two he takes two that's what I think he should do that would be the most challenging for me to play against um, against that I want to hold five year plan for what I'm not too sure though hmm, maybe I hmm. No, it just seems super powerful. I don't want to give up five-year plan for nothing. Um, yeah, let's see. Let's see. If he scores it here, I take Pakistan for sure. Because I have into Pak War. If he if he gets a big coup, <laughs> yeah, getting Fran. Oh, okay. So maybe a somewhat weak hand, but I'm really, obviously, I'm really happy about that. Um, okay, I think, I think this is the play, I let him take the risk of the coup, and if he does coup, I get Thailand, and then I can still Indo pack later on, so, looking really good here, I think, I think I'm in good shape, the whole point was, if he scores, I take Pakistan, okay, I almost hope he coups Pakistan. I really want, I think Thailand and getting all in here before he gets to Malaysia is really, really strong. Um, yeah. No. Smart. Malaysia. Of course. Two. Hmm. Why two? I don't even have duck and cover to coup. Should I coup? I am tempted to coup Iran. I have a 50-50 chance of knocking him out. But the Middle East isn't scored. Chill. Slow down, Hassan. Um, D call. D call does not seem great at the moment. Oh, I don't want to play Indo back, right? Because Def Pun's at 2. Maybe just something like. Truman before it becomes annoying into South Korea. Is holding five year plan any good? I guess if things go really bad with Asia, maybe it is. Is this any good taking South Korea? Maybe I should go to India instead. Hedge my bets, kind of thing. I kind of like South Korea though. I don't have high ops. Um, yeah. Well, he might coup Pakistan. That's okay. Okay, give him Truman. Yeah, that duck and cover uh, Cambridge combo really, really came through here. The Middle East scoring is always annoying as a headline. I don't. Yeah, but not, nothing I can do without Nasser in hand. And I definitely would have headlined Nasser over Cambridge 5. One to play decal. This is always tricky. Maybe I could have played it now. Gone Thailand, Angola, Zaire, Nigeria. And see what he does. But he, he would probably just... I'm not too sure what he would do actually. Okay, for Mosin Coup. Alright, I expected this. He fails. That is excellent news for me. Because now I decoy in and I'm going to get a coup off. I'm going to grab all this stuff. Should I grab Indonesia? One, two, three. Yeah, I think I should grab Indonesia actually for country count purposes. And now this is pretty threatening and I should grab Africa safely. I haven't cooed yet. So he's going to play into Thailand here. And then with Indopak, I coup Panama. And I grab Milops, I knock him out of Africa. Um, I do give up Thailand, but it's all good. And if he coups here, I take Thailand, which I am also perfectly fine with. But I, I definitely expect him to take Thailand, although he is short on ops. Um, and he also has to hold the card for blockade. He's had very low ops this hand. So I'm guessing that all the high op cards, all the strong cards are, are, uh, are going to come next turn and turn three. Hopefully I get nab at least one to two of them. 
Wait, didn't Purge come out? What am I... No, Purge did not come out. Am I Purge? No, I'm not. What am I... Okay. Yeah, so you guys get to hear all my internal wanderings and often dumb thoughts, but hey, I'm trying. Okay, I think I like this a lot, though. I'm, I'm pretty happy with this because I, I think he takes Thailand here. I don't see how he doesn't. It's a win-win, pretty much, whatever he does. Worst case scenario, Defcon goes to three. I can still grab Milops with indo -Pak War. I think. I think I can afford that. Maybe, maybe I, I don't want to play the China card. I take Thailand with Romanian and indo -Pak event. But then Thailand is just begging to be broken. Hmm. Hmm. I'm not, I'm not sure what I would do in that case. I'm threatening the scoring as well, although he might be a bit suspicious that I don't have the scoring because of my Cambridge headline. Uh, on the other hand, I didn't really have any good headlines, so maybe not. Maybe not. He knows I'm not going to risk a decoy with defectors out there. Okay. Also, he's probably... This is my guess. My guess is he has one, three, or four up. And he doesn't know if I have blockade or not. That's what I think. So that, I think that's the decision right now. Does he take the risk, take Thailand, and, uh, and potentially lose West Germany? Or does he give up Thailand? That, that's, that's what I think he might be thinking about. Because his hand has been so weak. I think even going for a better coup in Panama. Or where do Olympic Games go? Two in Malaysia. Yeah, I thought that was pretty odd. I don't know why he went both in Malaysia. I thought that one-op would have been better spent almost anywhere elsewhere. Costa Rica even. Defector's coup. Okay, yeah, he gives it up, so... Okay, that's the expected result. Now, this is challenging. Could play China. One, two, three, four, five. I don't like it that much. I do want my Milops. I actually really want Milops, so I'm just going to do this. Maybe it's bad. But he has probably, he has a lot of uh, responsibilities. He needs to enter Zaire. Otherwise, yeah, this is not this is going to get cooed. Honestly, if I give up a coup in Nigeria, it's not the biggest uh it's not the end of the world. Next turn if he breaks Thailand, then I have to spend AR1 repairing. Yeah, it's kind of whatever. I could even, uh, if he doesn't take Zaire, I could even on Air 1, I could go Thailand and Cameroon. And so once he goes Nigeria, I grab Zaire or something like that. I have options. And hopefully I can get Milops through uh, Arab Israeli or, uh, or Korean. Because I'm expecting that's what's going to happen. I'm expecting Thailand to be broken because he's going to find out I don't have a blockade. And, uh, and he's going to, yeah. But Asia is looking very nice. The only region still to be scored. Um, he does not have Asia scoring, I know that, from Cambridge. <sighs> okay. It's a start. I think it's a good start, for sure, overall. I mean, ideally, Africa would be all red after a decoy, but I do have Thailand, so. Maybe I got greedy with Indonesia and I should have gone Zaire, but I like, okay, okay, wow, 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 wow. wow. Yeah, I don't like this play from him that much. Uh, Indonesia seems like kind of a waste. Maybe it's a good thing I went to Indonesia then got him to spend three ops there. Ah, whatever. Two more VPs would have been nice, but... Hold five-year plan. It's always a good card to hold. I mean, I don't know. He could probably break, like, France. He could break so much here. Oh my god, he's probably going to break Thailand. Add. Uh, independent Reds is out, so you go safe. Yeah, this is totally going to be a Thailand break. Maybe a France break if he's holding... Tr no, no, I got rid of Truman. Yeah, yeah, so this is totally a Thailand break. One Thailand, maybe even one Thailand, one Colombia. That would be that would be pretty brutal for me to deal with. Defectors is gone, though. So, uh, yeah, okay, both in Thailand. Wow. Wow. Okay. Wow. Wow. Great hand. Amazing hand. 
That is a lot of ops. Kind of tricky how to deal with some of them, but still really happy. I purge him here, 1000%. I think nothing else is, yeah. And Vectors is gone. CNS, okay. Kind of annoying. He's uh, it's like building up on the VP track, and I'm just, but I'm I'm so ahead on the board. I don't even mind. Hmm. So how to play this smartly? I think the smart way is to play to go. I'm not gonna get Milops, eh? It's kind of sad. Thailand and Laos. Yeah. Should I enter Cameroon? Is there a point? Again, I'm just really happy with my board position, but... There are issues. Con coup, yeah. I don't like giving up my lots. What what the hell am I doing? Okay, chill. Truman's gone as well, so I can actually go to you go. Truman's gone and Independent Reds is gone. Not often you see that when you when Comcon's played, but it's nice. Can take some liberties. I only need to place a single op into Yugoslavia to grab a. Domination. Yeah. Yeah. Annoying. Very annoying. What to do with Marshall? What to do with US Japan? Norad goes to space. I oh I don't know about this. Okay. Let's think this out. Norad goes to space. Five year plan gets held. And I event both of these. Also, this is one of those situations where, um, even though I hate doing this, I might marshal into Greece and Spain. I'm not sure I want to space Norad yet, because otherwise I have to play it, because the five-year plan. And US Japan gets played is, uh, is okay, but I'll just take South Korea on my way to doing it. What are other priorities? Iraq. I don't want to marshal right now. I want to chill. Special relationship to the UK. Yeah, otherwise it gives them access to Algeria. I mean, overall, I'm still really happy that I have these cards and not him, but it's just a little bit annoying trying to figure out what to do right now. I like Lebanon. He hasn't gone there yet, so... He's perched. Can I take advantage of that? With lots of ops. Could I bust into West Germany here? Is that even good? I'd be threatening Dom, Europe, Europe domination, and Italy has become super vulnerable to brush war. But no, I don't think that's necessary. I think the rest of the world needs to tidy up. Take South Korea, go to Lebanon, I'll give him Japan. Yeah, I'm pretty surprised, well, maybe they are good plays. I was surprised at the Indonesia flip and the Malaysia flip early on, I thought, I don't know, like I'm very surprised he didn't go Egypt instead or... Um, yeah, well, mainly Egypt, I guess. Suez is two ops. It's probably going to Egypt. <laughs> okay. Wow, special relationships free now. Awesome. Okay. Pretty happy about that. Special relationship. Let's go to Iraq for now.
Actually, you know what? I'm gonna play a little uh, preemptively. Is that the right word? Preemptively? I don't think so, but I don't want Thailand to be broken, and I don't want France to be broken. I'm gonna gonna do that right now. I don't have anything urgent to do. Marshall takes Spain and Greece. Norad goes to space. Containment AR6. You know, strong hand overall. He's probably holding a 4 for blockade. Probably nuclear test ban, I guess, is the only one. Yeah, nuclear test ban is the only 4. Wish I had blockade here. Unfortunately, if he has... Oh, nice! Okay, okay, awesome. I get my milops. I'm always happy about milops. Let's go. Okay. I don't know why. That makes me feel so much better about the current game state. That's 4 VPs. Um... Feels like a, <laughs> a weight has been lifted off my shoulders, honestly. Okay. Ah, a six. Could have used that somewhere else. It's all good. Yeah, that's fortunate. Really happy about that. Everybody's really warm. Because four VPs, I mean, you throw an Asia scoring into the mix and, uh, oh wow. Okay, he's giving me all the wars. Come on, succeed. Let's go. Come on. Ah, a one. Okay. Time to do this. Spain and I like Greece. I'm threatening realigns sometime in the future if he doesn't shore up quick. And then I have flexibility with containment and I continue to hold five year plan probably for Middle East at this point because of how weak my standing there is. Well, funnily enough he can't grab a non battleground. Like he literally can't right now. He would have to go move through Iraq or Israel and then go to Jordan or, or flip Lebanon. And again, he probably just doesn't have the ops. He's purged. It's a great time to purge him. Okay. Succeeds. Now play containment. Anything to overprotect, really? No. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2. So with 1, 2, 3 ops, he can fix this mess. But if I take Yugoslavia, or if I take Turkey, then with 1, 2, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 to 4. And he needs 6 ops to kind of bring this around. So 3 ops, I can choose. Yeah, okay. Hmm. Maybe I just take Iraq. I think I take Iraq and I take a plane to India. In case of indo pak war. At least I'm, I'm in India. Maybe I should just take put all 3 in India. Maybe Iraq's not that great. Something like this. No, this seems weak. Forget the over control. I want to play aggressively. What can I do that's aggressive here, though? Everything seems kind of passive. I'm going to stick with the original. I want to take battlegrounds. I don't want to overprotect right now when there are open battlegrounds to be taken. This all sets up a nice Iran coup. He might have, like, Vietnam revolts here or something. Yeah, I like this. Going to India in case indo pak comes out. Hopefully I can take India before he gets a chance to vent it. Maybe I... No, I don't like going to Afghanistan there. Maybe as Asia scoring, now I would have played it by now. Okay. Again, pretty happy with this game state. I'm expecting nuclear test ban here. Uh-oh. What's going on? Seven red cards under perch. Is it... Is it... Wow. Ouch. Yeah. Does he have Vietnam? Vietnam, or I guess he has... Blockade? No, that doesn't make any sense. Uh, Fidel. Fidel, Nasser, Vietnam would make sense here. He told me seven red cards. One, two, three, four, five. What, what are you holding? Oh, man, he probably is holding these stuff. Yeah, he does have Vietnam votes. Can't break anything, good thing. Wait, oh, he can break anything, but he didn't. Okay. Um, yeah, because he has a uh, containment. Okay, looking good here. No blockade or Asia. Yeah, that's true. I grab Asia and blockade and socialist governments, which is uh, 
Is it relevant here? Not really. Okay. UN intervention is nice. Now, this is kind of a tough hand, though, overall. But I can't complain after that last hand. Uh, no D style. Okay, I'm going to complain. That's bad. <laughs> uh, no Fidel either. What? And he can space too. Yeah, this is not ideal. Okay. So he has CIA, D style, EEU, Fidel, and nuclear test ban. Strong hand. Um, I wouldn't even be surprised to see a CIA headline here. Um, that Tunisia plays annoying. I'm going to have to deal with it. I don't want to headline suck of... Can I headline? No, I can't headline uh, Asia. You might headline a... Uh, hmm. You might headline defectors. Hmm. Got a special relationship back. Should be my AR1 before he fills the uh, UK. So blockade, what could he have? He has D style, I know that. There's nothing else he can really discard. So I'm just saving him an AR, but I'm cutting down his hand size. Is this is that even good? Yeah, I'm trying to figure out if this is a net positive or net negative for me to headline this. I don't want to headline Asia. No, I need I need to protect it with my life. Socialist. Socialist doesn't do much. It does, does pretty much nothing, actually. I guess I could remove Turkey, but who cares? I mean, uh... I don't have the ops to make a play for West Germany, otherwise that's something that I would honestly consider. Um, not Sokovs, no. Yeah, why not Nasser? Wait, hold up, yeah, Nasser's kind of obvious here. What am I stressing about? Shoot, 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 please, please, please. Ah, uh, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, thank God. Yeah. That would have been brutal. <sighs> Deep breath. Okay, end up back gone and Nasser gone. Is Iran the coup here? No, it's not. Don't get greedy. I think it's Zaire. Good roll. Now, do I take India before scoring Asia? I think I do. The board is not saturated yet where I can justify uh, like I don't really have ops I want to take Algeria but he's not going to let me right now so what to do about this UN 5 year plan kind of set up here okay he's fighting here I don't like that so I think I save my ops for a potential op war Yeah, two ops for one VP, but I mean, India is always going to be mine. The pack war is gone until turn seven. No, those two ops are probably uh, better spent elsewhere, even if they're just used in flipping Angola. So I'm going to score and free up my hand. Okay, am I happy with this going into mid war? Not, not really, to be honest. Uh. Yeah, not really. Because the mid-war is looking ugly. I need some strong hands to f really flip things around. Um, I expect him to fight for country count here, which I'm game. Like, I'm down to fight him back. I can I have the liberty of using UN intervention earlier. And I know he has D-style and Fidel. So I know he's going to want to coup with those eventually. So Romanian abdication is somewhere, not in my hand, unfortunately, otherwise I wouldn't even... Okay, no good test man. UK, Canada, where else? Angola, Belgium. Okay. Socialist governments or De Gaulle? De Gaulle. 
to Czechoslovakia, one Yugoslavia. Look at look at Italy. Look at Italy. Okay. Where else did he go? He went Angola. That's a good play. So now, um, I know three of his five cards. I know CIA, D Style, and Fidel. Am I recording? <laughs> That's a great question to ask. Yes, I am. Wait. Yes. Yes, I think I am. Okay. <laughs> okay, he's spacing Deco. He fails. So I don't want to play blockade here. This situation. I don't want to help him out when I don't have to. Do I even? Yeah, I do bother. Actually, why don't I just use blockade for ops and uh, keep my hand flexible? I don't want to make his hand easier because he has D-Style and Fidel. He has two problems. I force him to hold one. Force him to hold D-Style. Fails. Wow, that's actually a break on space. Okay, take Saudi. Now, is there any scoring that I should hold 5-year plan for? I still want to hold 5-year plan. Such a good card to hold, but... Let's see. Let's see what he does. Do I need to overprotect anything? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. He needs three ops to uh to make a difference in uh in Europe. He just scored. Middle East is looking good. He might do he might do something inefficient like breaking one of these countries. He thinks have the scoring, which I would be happy if he did so. Nasser headline and my kind of general playing to Middle East might signal that to him. Although of course it's just. Nothing much. Muslim Revolution here. Well, he does have that one in Egypt. Okay, CIA. So I still don't know his last card. Benelux. I am conflicted on what to do. Five year plan could discard Africa, could discard South America because I have no way in, it could discard Central America because he spaced Fidel, so I'm gonna hold five year plan. Executive decision. Let's do it. This one op is not very useful, uh, admittedly. However, Cameron. kind of weak. Is anything in like big VOA trouble? Wow, this whole region might be. <laughs> but do I really care that much? No, I don't. Uh, nah, whatever. This Canyon seems such a waste here. What do I do with one up? Realign, I'm thinking realign in the back of my mind, maybe Angola, Algeria at zero. Maybe just play into Israel. Which one? Which one? Which one? Which one? Okay. That's obviously a great result. And he has to put two back, otherwise he risks uh, the old... South African Portuguese flip. Yeah, obviously a much better play than Cameroon. It also stops him from filling up at Denmark, unless he's holding NATO or Red Scare, which I don't think he is. I'd be surprised. What did he give me? Arab Israeli. Nice. Wow, okay. He ignores Angola, which is might be smart. Okay, come on. 50 50. Nice. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Romania abdication headline. Because Defectors is out there. I don't want Bresnev to get Defectors. Although Bresnev is really good here. Yeah, 5-year plan takes care of South America. In case, because there's a high chance he gets in somehow. And I'm not able to do anything about it. Yeah, okay. So. Southeast Asia scoring is a, what is a plus 2? Play, playing that earlier rather than later is probably good.
Okay, I have fighting chances in this game. Um, I'm not. You know, I, I'm. Yeah, I'm definitely at fighting chances. I don't know what to do. I, I, ideally, I'd like to um, headline Bresnath, but I'm not really going to be able to. It looks like. Yeah, I really want to headline Romanian here. Please, Europe scoring. Grain sales, okay. Please, nothing. Okay. Okay, 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 this is actually good. Because he might go, he's going to return it, and he's going to go all in on South America. Right? There's probably a chance he has, okay, that's not that good. <laughs> wow, he fails the coup. Hey, this is actually good for me. Okay, he returns the scoring, obviously. Is Shadow playable here? No, I should chill. Maybe just for Mosin. Nothing super pressing anywhere in the world except Angola. Play Southeast Asia next turn. Rear guards goes to space, obviously. Um, yeah. What do you roll on that? Coup a 2, right? Yeah. Caught a break there. I'll succeed on the Arab-Israeli war twice. Rolls have been eh, somewhat good for me. I failed a few coups, I think. Have I? I don't know. Maybe I haven't. I haven't cooed much, which I'm happy about. Midwar looks amazing. Europe, Middle East can come soon. Shuttle is annoying. Probably going to have to play it. Again, plan is five-year plan South America. I'm assuming, I'm assuming, probably as Panama or Puppet or Junta, That's about it. Or OAS. Yeah. A lot of cards. I can get him in there. And if he does manage to get in there, that would not be ideal. The other option is keep holding 5 your plan. <laughs> Maybe I do that. Just score. Oh. Okay. So. The obvious play is to score it. Just score it. You know what? Yeah, five year plan for Central America because I don't have Fidel. They're only, yeah. Uh, you know what? Keep holding five year plan. Oh my god. CIA is uh, in the discard, so. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna do this. Okay, Astronaut is my AR7. Just gotta pray that he doesn't have anything good. CRG goes to space. He's, he failed the space roll twice. Um, yeah. I mean, Midwar just looks so appealing right now visually. Really hope he has Middle East scoring here. South America is still an issue long term. I mean, I need to get in here somehow. But just not having it scored in the Midwar is a huge relief. Because Africa is even right now. And Again, Nigeria coup away from uh, from dominating potentially. I, actually, I should. I want to take South Africa. Okay, one small step for influence. So I'm not gonna draw that card as much as I'd like to. Yeah. So not much I can do to stop him from spreading like there. I think I'll score before he gets wise and takes the Philippines. Um, yeah. No point in me taking Burma. He takes Philippines, trading two ops for one. Yeah, I scored two for me. Yeah. Ooh, I need Milops. Oh, Tunisia. Ooh. Actually, Tunisia is a good, might be a semi early coup target. Because, uh. Because maybe Algeria realigns. Yeah. Okay. You. What you gonna do? Hopefully, I get cultural space here. Okay, not going anywhere there. Kind of less important now with, uh, well, actually it's still pretty important. I don't want him spacing two all game. I was going to say, with one small step played, I mean, there's a little less potential in that sense. Okay, Panama's a good play here. Well, yeah, it's Midwars and strong. If I draw a salt, I think there's some serious consideration of salting for Fidel. Really hope I get lib theory somewhere. Okay, shuttle. No, not shuttle yet. Delay shuttle one turn. 
Bresnet is uh, Tunisia, sorry, is the best spot, right? Yeah. Okay, it's not that bad, actually, because I'm still threatening plus zero real lines, and he has no way to place back in. Might actually, I, I actually will go for that with Shuttle, because I have a secondary charge in South Africa, so... I think that's good. Oh, no. Uh-oh. What am I looking at? Shoot, I'm suspicious. I think he has Middle East scoring. Why would you brush white Egypt there? With when you know Sadat's around. I am highly, highly suspicious of that play. I am going to break. I am, yeah. I am very suspicious of that play. Please, please score it. Please score it. Please score it. Otherwise, he's going to get rid of it with Astronaut. Please have it. Please have it. I'm so suspicious. Come on, score it. Come on. It makes sense to score it. Otherwise, I can, like, you know, theoretically, he doesn't know what I have. He, well, he knows I have Fiverr plan. But I could, uh, uh, okay. Well, that's not that bad. At least, uh, I'm almost certain he has a scoring here. Almost certain. Yeah, good. Pl oh, wow. Yeah, just. <sighs> Alright, it's okay. It's okay. Two cards. Two really, really good cards, but still just two cards. I'm in a realignment type of mood. Now there. Doesn't that Africa look so much nicer? Probably plays into Tunisia here. That's, that would be my expectation. Okay, I'm gonna leave. Actually, should I wait? I'm gonna leave for a bathroom break. Okay. Right. So I see the one in Tunisia. Turn four just finished. How am I I'm doing on time? I'm doing okay. Turn four. Uh, flower power, holy. Okay, Brazil, Costa Rica, Tunisia. I have salt. Salt for Fidel. It's, it's not a bad hand. I'm very glad to draw nuclear subs. Right now, the only way in to Africa for him. If I think ABM, because rear guards is gone, puppets gone, so many of the good stuff is gone. Salt for Fidel. Realign Italy, <laughs> maybe, or just event Fidel. Okay, chill. I gotta think about this. So I do have a semi-strong hand. Also, there is no uh, what do you call it? 
five. Summit. Could event summit. On, uh, yeah, honestly, if it definitely gets high, it's a good headline. It's plus two, same odds as Olympic Games. Not headline, sorry, just a good event. <laughs> Funny summit might be helpful. Uh, Norad. Our men in Tehran. will be at 5 and cools will be minus 1. Problem is I have the two coolable, really really coolable and vulnerable battlegrounds. But I think this is worth it. Please don't headline. Okay. Damn it. Maybe I should have been more alert for missile envy. I kind of slipped my mind to be honest. Yeah, that was a mistake. Completely slipped my mind. I should have been obi your headline. Wait, 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 wait. I'm salting. Okay. Why not just give him, like, nuclear test ban? But that defeats the whole purpose. Is it worth it? Honestly, it might be worth it. Give him nuclear test ban, and take a we will bury you coup on Mexico. Even though coups are at minus one, um, five or a six. Yeah. Oh, I only have missile envy to coup as <laughs> Wait, wait, no, 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 shoot, 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 I don't want to give him three VTs. <laughs> oh my god, because Devkin's a five. How annoying. Okay. Let me just grab Fidel. This is not good at all. Okay, so my, if he has the scoring here, this is really bad, because he can score it AR1 after I uh, do something with Missile Envy, which probably counter coup, it's Will Bury you coup that he's about to do, if he succeeds, hopefully he rolls a 1. <laughs> Expected result, wow this is bad. Now he's gonna cruise that year. <sighs> that was a big mistake. I should have headlined Wilbur you there and salted mid turn. Really bad, really bad form by me. Now the dilemma is if he has Central America scoring here, should he play it now? Honestly, I hope he plays it now, because I don't want to lose that year. <laughs> I really don't. I also would... Okay. Okay. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Probably still saves me 3 VPs grabbing Fidel, otherwise I'm pretty sure he's going to take Cuba. Okay. I have a coup here. Is Norad a good card to give here? No, nuclear is... Mm. Event summit. <laughs> Event summit. It's three to one. Two VPs and lower it. Cause what's a coup gonna do here? Nothing. Like let's say I use my highest card. Five or six. But I don't wanna let him coup either. Maybe I should have headlined Cambridge five. I don't know. This is not a good turn for me. I don't like this. I don't like this. Is this good? I lower Def Gun. And I get two VPs. I already have my lops. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's good. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> so funny. I can't believe I just uh, invented Summit. It seems, it seems like a decent option to me because I really want to lower Defcon. I don't want Zaire to get coot. But with Salt, I don't have a good coot target. But Summit's two VPs, so and uh, accomplishes the goal. It's kind of funny. 
I end the event here. It's gonna be annoying and strong. But I just have a weekend. Still need to figure out what goes to space, what gets held. Five year plan gets held here. I'm just gonna hold it the whole game if I have to. I've had it since turn one. I want the China card back. Nixon was annoying. I like having that flexibility. Last turn, if I had the China card, I could have broken Iran, and that would have been a monster Middle East scoring. Arms race for influence. No event. Wow, he must be hard pressed on ops. Yeah, seriously, like, that's surprising. Um, Europe scoring is still to come. Just uh, kind of a note. Let's do that. Yeah, five-year plan is still good here for Africa. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So he needs three ops to take Austria if he wants to uh, do anything. And I, I would, I would respond with three and. What are these connections? Hungary is connected to Austria. I should probably respond with three and Hungary, I guess, or maybe Bulgaria. Bulgaria, I guess. I don't know. Doesn't matter too much. Tear down this wall. Implications. Nothing really. China card. Please don't have a Suri. Probably has cultural or a Suri. Eyes. Uh, where's he going? Man. Yeah, what a time to screw up. And uh, not headline, we will bury you. This is bad, man. Even Cambridge 5 event to snipe Nigeria doesn't even seem that great. We'll still be 3-2. I don't have any way to uh, really claw back in. Taking Libya here is any good? Uh, actually, first, I'm going to go for real lines if he lets me. Oh, our man's going to break Iran. Yo, let me do that first, actually, before, uh, before that's not possible anymore. Wait, no, I should take Chile first. Okay, I don't think he's really thinking about that. Alright, that's good. I don't want to give him our man. Super annoying card to give. Uh, a card that I enjoy eventing myself as US. I try to do that whenever I can. Where's the current turn? There we go. Time, I'm doing okay. 30 minutes. Strikers, not as, not the fastest. Ah, oh, that's annoying. Yeah, he's probably a slightly ahead here at this point. That's a nice... Is that removed or is it a... Uh, is it discarded? It's discarded? How, that's so annoying. How is that fair? joking but still that's kind of annoying I feel like I wanted it removed but whatever so now NORAD can be spaced and nuclear subs will be I don't really don't want to give it to him but I'm think I'll have to Fidel's gonna be evented maybe with quag around do I take the chance? No, I don't. Oh, no, no, I don't. That's dumb. 50 50 chance you have to deal with a NORAD for the rest of the game? No, no chance. Space NORAD. Nuclear subs, I think I break Argentina, maybe. And, uh. It's not that strong, but I don't. I don't know what other options I have. Europe, I really. I, if Europe somehow he avoids Europe getting scored, that would be pretty devastating. He does not have Africa. Okay, that's good. That means I have some chances here. If I can draw something good, even just a big coup, honestly, would be a uh, would be good. Event Fidel, Space Norad first. Finally. Okay, I'm over exaggerating. I'm not. Oh yes, thank God. Yes. Okay. I was scared he'd just find a way to wriggle out of the scoring somehow, but, alright. Oh, why do I have two hold cards? I played Salt. Hmm. Hmm. 
Then I hold nuclear subs, because what if Africa comes out? Yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't know that. I'm, I'm, that's bad. I should have realized. Okay. Not the two greatest cards to hold, although five-year plan could be helpful if Africa, again. So happy I drew Europe. Um, yeah. I guess what were his ways? He could have how I learned to stop worrying and, uh, and realign France, maybe, with ABM or something like that, but yeah, it didn't work out. Muslim Revolution is still going to be a beast here. Going to give me Libya and, uh, although I know Sadat's around, but going to give me Libya and going to knock him out of Iran. OPEC. I really want OPEC. I want VPs. I want, I want VPs. I'm greedy. Um, next turn, got to, hopefully, maybe I get Portuguese Empire Crumbles and I follow it up with an Angola coup. That sounds like something good. Okay, gives me cultural. Yeah, I kind of figured it's either uh, Suri or cultural, the reason he, uh, Gave me China card. Don't think he'd do it for no reason. Alright. I do grab Africa. Okay. And OPEC. Wow. Okay. And Junta. Wow. Okay. Low ops. But honestly, I'm happy. I would... I'm glad I have Voice America, not him. I'm glad I have Africa. I'm glad I have Junta and OPEC. Um, like, yeah, some of these cards are really annoying, obviously, like OAS... Um, which I'll, and I'll have to play all of these in order to five-year plan Africa, which I think I have to do. Okay, purge is around if I get purged here. That's going to be dreadful. Oh my god, yeah. I probably have to play China card and hold. No, my god, yeah, I can't get purged here. Yikes. Okay, purge could really, really screw this up. But with no purge, I think I'm on that edge where I'm okay. It's a bad hand, but I can survive it. I think. Okay. So I should headline Junta. That can cover it. Strong headline. Um, but Junta becomes stronger here. No, I, do I even go Argentina? Why not go Brazil? Is this smart? And realign Argentina? Maybe it was dumb. Okay, it was pretty dumb, actually. <laughs> that was pretty dumb. What the hell did I just do? Come on, I got greedy. Way too greedy. Okay. No perch, though. No perch, though. That's a blessing. I want to take Libya. I don't have much ops here. Oh, yes, it's going to be annoying. If it takes Uruguay, I realign it. No, I can't. If it takes Uruguay, what do I do? Yeah. Maybe that was a bad decision. OPEC here, I really want to event for three, which I will get to do. I need Milops somehow, nuclear subs I can coup with. He probably wants to take Nigeria here. I want to take Uruguay if he lets me. I might even use nuclear subs. I cannot play the China card. I cannot play the China card. I need to five-year plan Africa. Okay. I might lose Brazil, but I don't want to... Yeah, like, it is what it is, right? I don't want to throw away everything else just to grab hold on to Brazil. Like, my position in the early war is still really strong. Really strong in all three regions. Um, yeah. If I hadn't done that stupid wheel where you play Africa, would have been, like, a huge scoring for me. Messed everything up. Should have been my headline. I would have been three VPs ahead. Miss Lenby would have gotten like, I don't know. I guess NORAD. It's just not ideal, but come on, it's loads better than uh, what actually happened. Yeah, I'd much rather give NORAD than Wilbury still, I think. Oh, I need to set my fantasy lineup. Hmm. Okay, let me take a quick look at that. So I'm a huge Buffalo Bills fan. I have Josh Allen. I have Devin Singletary. I have the Buffalo defense. My decisions. Okay, Terry McLaren is active. Sorry, I'm gonna I'm gonna shut up.
the kitchen debates. I think I just want to set that slowly over to Uruguay. Is this good? I don't know. I don't think it's good. He knows I've been holding five-year plan for forever. Wait, wait a second. What am I doing? That was that would have been a super dumb move. Phantom back. It leaves me very inflexible when it comes to ops, but what you gonna do? Cause I got a free upset at. I don't have ops to take Libya or Iran as much as I would love to. I hope he has Muslim Rev. Well, I don't know. I don't hope he has it, but I don't know. I hope he doesn't have it actually. ABM is still around. If he ABMs that year, that would be. I think you might suspect though that I'm that I have Africa now. The way I've kind of ignored it, I feel like a Saharan coup would have been a. Uh oh. Yeah, that's just annoying. I'm getting played around with like the China card. Should I overprotect Pakistan? You know what? I will because it could come into play for uh, Asia scoring. I should have done that a while ago, maybe. So now I give Sadat after scoring OPEC. Okay, fail, fail, come on. Woohoo! <laughs> okay. That is ridiculous that he has not got into space 3 yet. Again, ideally would have liked to hold VOA, but five year plan in Africa, baby. Oh yes, yeah, it's just yeah, what I'm what to do. What? 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 I am confused. Is he is he is that an anticipation of nuclear subs? Michael Stryker, come on man. This guy just played lads. Wow. Oh yes, found it. Nuclear subs. Oh yes, found it. Oh yes, found it first. Yeah, I don't want to give him two coups. Yeah, this is going to hurt, but I just got to suck it up. I'm ahead on VPs, and everything's going to be scored. I'm going into turn 7. And we can just about split the regions. Um... Just about split the regions, uh, three three. Well, not really. Kind of, kind of, kind of, kind of. I'm happy with my Pakistan template. One two three four. One two three four five six. So he's not that close to breaking Asia. Oh yes, two Brazil seems pretty straightforward. I don't know why he'd uh, mess around with Uruguay. He goes to Brazil. I go one. Yeah, Lads was weird. Maybe he's planning to go into Nicaragua. I don't know. That's by the way. Yeah, five-year plan. I do want to go Nicaragua, Haiti. Otherwise, this is not a good situation right now. Again, with no clear way back in. Annoying. But, I need mill ops anyways. Wow, okay. There goes Zaire, and he'll get a nice Haiti coup, I'm assuming. Five-year planning Africa, though, is so nice here. 
Olympic Games. Okay, again, just now I actually want to do this. It's isolated. That's what you're supposed to do, right? <laughs> Had good luck earlier. Can't can't really figure it out this time. All right. Now this is still a problem. Still at eleven. Pretty big problem. But I have the coup. Um, also, there are a bunch of red cards still around. Flower, Muslim, Liberation, Quag. Well, there's Willy right now. Yeah, that was expected. Okay. Alright, but I'm 7 VPs going into, like, it's precarious. It's precarious. This is a nice hand, though. In fact, I don't even want to headline Quagmire because of Norad. I want to play Norad, and then I'm going to hold Quagmire. Yes. I also really want to space, so Defectors is going to be spaced. Wow. This is really good. ABM. NATO. Oh, he has Bear Trap. Probably going to be the likely headline here. He has Flower Power, Muslim, U2. He has, he has Red Scare. He has a strong hand, actually. Very strong hand. I redraw five year plan. <laughs> wait, wait a second. I can't hold Quagmire. Maybe I just space Norad. Okay, wait, I gotta think about this. Yeah, I really wanna hold five year plan actually. Um I think it's such a game changer. I have NATO for in case he redrew uh Miss Lendy. I know most of his hand. I'm expecting Red Scare here. Norad is still spaceable in that scenario, so I'm just going to quag him. i got to make sure I don't play these cards until later, because in case I get stuck in a bear trap. Put Quagmire here. I'm expecting bear trap. Or Red Scare. Red Scare, maybe the plan is like Red Scare and then Bear Trap later on, but yeah, I really hope I get to space here. That would be... So if I get the... If I get to... um, If he doesn't... What do you call it? You know the thing. He doesn't have a good coup target, by the way. Not He has no awesome coup targets. That's not something I can use to my advan advantage, maybe. An ABM is going to be huge. Probably use it to get into Africa here. Or Argentina. No, Africa. Africa. Play it safe. Africa, Zaire. Nigeria. Zaire. Nigeria. Zaire, Nigeria. Nigeria, actually. Why Zaire? Angola's at 5. It's not a. Not gonna flip anytime soon, but Nigeria's 5 VPs if the scoring comes out, so. And then Zaire, and then maybe eventually Algeria to flip the region. Maybe. Maybe a brush war in Angola or something like that. Yeah, I'm really disappointed with that Junta play. That was a dumb play. Oh, no. I should have had my baby in. Out. My heart. Okay. It's okay. So what I'm thinking is liberation. Like this. And then I coup Mexico. Also protect Cuba at the same time. Coup. Muslim Revolution succeeds. EU is actually not playable, right? <laughs> because, yeah, it, it actually is not. I'm going to have to repair it. So do I coup with NATO then? You know what? Worth it. I need to space here. Please let me space. I want to space Norad. I need to use the washroom again. I drank a lot of water this morning. 
He does not know of ABM. Wait. Okay, why did I think it came out? He does know of ABM. I should take Libya and Iran. Libya especially if they're open. But I want a space first. Four VPs. The VP situation is precarious with a... With what do you call it around? War games again coming in soon. Yeah, they're Africa. I should have... Maybe I should have headlined ABM. If I had headlined ABM, what would I even do? Just coup Nigeria, I guess, and save five VPs, but... Still. Still. This is, uh... No need to panic. It's still a game here. For sure. Because look at the five regions. Well, I mean, okay. South America I can't really claim, but I'm gonna ab I'm gonna ABM South America. Yes, I'm gonna ABM Argentina. Africa, just eventually, I'm just gonna... My plan is to grab one country there. Six. Okay, sure. But if I can... If I can draw South America, Central, sorry, draw South America, Central America is looking good long term. Like, I don't, sure, he could try for real lines and stuff, but I can parry, always. But Europe and Asia here are really, really, like, they're strongholds for me. And if I can draw the scorings, just as long as scorings come out. Um, gunmen could be redrawn, right? It wasn't removed, right? So there are defcon possibilities if you redrew it. As always with Aldrich and stuff. War Games is a threat. What cards does he have for VPs? I guess he has like Duck and Cover and things like that. Um, Cal. Um, just all those small late war cards. Flower Power is around. He has Camp David. Probably won't event it. I don't know what he will do. Bear Trap. John Paul is not an issue. Red Scare would be annoying. I'm going to go use the washroom while he waits. Okay, I'm back. You too. Iran and Libya. Smart, smart played. Yeah. I'm gonna space though. Space in red. Please. Uh, okay. Alright. I'm stressed. I'm very stressed about this game. Yeah, he's going to be over the 7 VP threshold if we get there. He's going to be at, if he spaces. Do I empty AREE -E right now? Do I ABM Argentina preemptive? Like, not preemptive, but do I ABM Argentina? No, I want ABM Argentina. Iranian hostage crisis can draw. Yeah, he's right. That uh, that seemed inefficient. 
Thank God. Okay. Looking good in South America. Again, Iron Lady also might have given me Argentina, but you never know. He probably would have overprotected because he's aware of it. The board looks good. The board does look mm, kind of good. <laughs> well, Africa scored. So it's not an immediate concern. Just before the end of the game, I need to do something about Africa. That's all it is. Uh, Latin American Death Squad's coup. Nicaragua, for sure. Nice. So I can play Ops here. Crumbles. No, let's do Defectors. Guatemala. Let's be annoying. Uh, actually, he does not have the scoring because I know his entire hand. And he knows my entire hand. He knows I have EU 5-year plan. No, 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 he doesn't. He doesn't know about 5-year plan and EU, I think. We're both redrawn. But I know his entire hand. He has Bear Trap. Yeah, Joker Deer goes John Paul. Wait, no, I don't. I'm missing one card. Okay. Hmm. Ask not what your country can do for you. Ask what you can do for your country. Okay. <laughs> EEU just gonna repair? Um, he's gonna bear trap me AR7. It's annoying. Just gotta repair. Yeah, I shouldn't have headlined Clash. I should have headlined ABM. That's two headline mistakes that really are uh, costing me in this game right now. If I headlined ABM, I would have saved Africa, and then I would also would have saved the Quagmire business. I would have saved, um, yeah, I would have saved, now he has Bear Trap and Red Scare, and one more card. Wow, that's nice. But I understand why he's playing it. He's going to Bear Trap me and then headline Red Scare. <laughs> Jordan. Yeah, Middle East is, uh. So Portuguese Empire is a 3-op. What to do with these 3-ops? He's going to bear trap me last AR. We're going to attempt to. So you know what? I'm going to put a scare in him. I'm going to break West Germany. My idea being... I'm kind of threatening. Maybe, vaguely, Europe, right? Because if I take West Germany, then Italy's... Oh my, Italy is like dead to rights. No, NATO is in effect. I can't realign Italy. Okay, good thing I didn't do that. Good thing. Um, India and Afghanistan. Actually, India seems good here, definitely, to protect against the war. El Salvador. One, two, three, four, five. Ah, it doesn't do much, actually. It doesn't change the tide. But maybe it's still a good play. Tear down this wall, it's around. No, okay, I feel, yeah, not much I can do. France might get realigned, but he doesn't have any influence inside, so I should be able to play back. I really want Iranian hostage crisis. I hope it shows up. Go El Salvador. He's going to be eventing Bear Trap. I know what he's going to do. Can't I take advantage of that? I know he has Bear Trap and Red Scare. I should break something. Maybe Algeria. But then Pakistan. Yeah. I'm gonna break out here. Not a bear trap and go ahead. Okay. And he's gonna headline perch. Very annoying. At the very least I have five year plan to discard. Okay. Uh Middle East scoring can can go to five year plant. But the problem is then I send Chernobyl. Yeah, I send Chernobyl to the to the thing. I send Chernobyl to uh 
to red scare, I mean to bear trap. Terrorism is a good headline. Barracks bombing isn't a bad headline. Decor reformer. Reformer is good actually. Preemptive glass must. Okay. Purge as expected. To West Germany. Overprotection. Ah, I'm doing okay there. One in the UK. Special relationship is around. Make him anxious about that. Maybe one in Benelux. Yeah, because I do threaten a realignment. Oh no, I don't. There's NATO's around. Chill. Be two in UK. Actually, wait. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Okay, okay. Two West Germany, one Italy, one UK. I need this. Thank God. Okay. Sure, no cool. So I have extremely low op hand, but I'm going to be playing a lot of events, event terrorism, event decoy, event arms race, I'm going to event how I learned stuff wearing, and event arms race, and event marine barracks bombing, I'm going to event everything except five year plan. Yep, that's the plan. Let's see what he does. I'm assuming a coup in Argentina maybe. It's actually not clear how he should proceed. I really want a space, but I can't, I don't have a card. Is he going to Argentina? Wow. Okay, how I learned to stop... Uh, sorry, not how I learned to stop ring. Um, Iron Lady could still theoretically give me that back in the future. I'm going to vent terrorism right now. Meh. Meh. I can play how I learned to stop worrying with some tempo, because when I get up to 5, he's probably going to cool back to prevent the arms race, so I might do that immediately. Decol is going to be a nice, uh, maybe even AR6, like right before my 5-year plan Middle East. The 5-year plan Middle East, then Iranian hostage crisis, because then uh, shuttle diplomacy doesn't count for final, um, and Iranian hostage crisis will, uh, will just... Uh, level it, and if I don't get random hostage crisis, then I need to, uh, then I just need to coup, I guess, Iran. Iran is going to be my barracks bombing target, because it might make him second guess, you know, what if I have hostage crisis and this is just a bluff? Probably won't fall for it, he'll probably just refill, but, actually, oh my god, he definitely will refill, because I just invented terrorism, so it would make no sense for me to have hostage crisis. Uh, yeah, again, I feel okay about the game. I don't feel, uh, do I feel okay? Oh, God. Okay, that's huge, because I don't really have a good way to counter war games here. I mean, it would be such a mess. Play this with tempo. Grab me lops, threaten, uh, arms race. Maybe I shouldn't have done that <laughs> because of uh, war games, <laughs> but honestly, if he has war games here, then it does open up the arms race. He probably is thinking about that. Does he know I have it? No, he doesn't, because he played arms race for ops in turn 5. Yeah, which was weird. He could have done this for 3 VPs. It actually surprised me. Influence. Nice. Wait, where's this going? Okay. Wow, that's very nice. I'm surprised you let me get this off. That's a very nice combo. And decoy will 
wreak some havoc in Africa. I'm very surprised he let me. I thought he would coup for sure in Nicaragua because it's a coup at Temple, anyways. I have to coup back or I have to do something about it. De Gaulle. Yeah, that's annoying, but I can't do much. Can't do much. Got a vent marine barracks bombing. Two from Libya, because he knows I don't have a thing. Five-year plan coming in clutch again. <laughs> Saved me once from Africa. That would have been an Africa control, although I would have probably gotten away with it with a five or a six. And then saving me from a five VP Middle East. Yep, I held it all game. And as soon as I got rid of it, on turn six, it came back. And I held it from turn one to turn seven. <laughs> but hey, um, I just think it's, yeah, it was worth it, I th still think. Is the board even? The board is somewhat even, but I really wish I, yeah, the Argentina coup was big for him. But then again, I rolled well on my ABM, so I mean, it's not like he's been extraordinarily lucky with the dice. In fact, he should have succeeded on space a long, long time ago. The fact that he still has space 2 is boggling. He was at space 2 on turn 2. Yes, he spaced something here. He spaced, I think, no, he gave me Suez. He spaced socialist here. So he, oh no. Uh oh. Okay. So. My radar goes up for Asia scoring, so I'm gonna break Indonesia. Maybe I should break Malaysia too. No, I will. I'm gonna break Nigeria. I'm gonna break Algeria. Yeah, because I'm suspicious. I can five year plan into North Korea. Or if he takes North Korea right now with China. Then I take Nigeria with two. Both I put both into Nigeria with five from five year plan if he takes North Korea with China. I, I would I wouldn't mind getting China back here. I hope he has Asia. Because I don't think he can wriggle out of it. One, two yeah, I have a s I have I have two ops here to play. My only ops of the round I think, because I have Event, discard, event, 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 event. That's good, that's what you want to do when you're purged, right? So, cost me grand total of 1-up. Well, a bit more annoying than that, I guess, because I would have... Actually, Chernobyl would have been my first discard choice, I think. Uh, yeah, it would have been my first discard choice, even with a... <sighs> even if there was no uh, red scare on the bear trap. Hostage crisis, I really want hostage crisis. Um, any other cards that can help me out here? That I really want. I hope he gets gunmen. Socialist could flip Italy. Uh, Wheel Burry would be nice. It's always nice. Glasnost is improved. I like that. Not, not another ABM treaty for him. And ABM's gone, anyways. Iron Lady could be big for me. Could give me Argentina. I think he has Asia. Mm, that's how I interpret this VOA play. I don't think it was very strong. Like I'm happy to see VOA be used as a repair card and then two out from North Korea, sure. Like, much better than him holding it to turn 10 and, well, I guess Star Wars could bring it back, but maybe not. I have fighting chances on space. China card, he is taking North Korea. I'm very happy to get the China card. Uh, not. That confuses me because Surya and Nixon are both gone. He might be holding gunmen and something else really bad, like... I don't even know, blockade? I don't know. 
We went Colombia as well, eh? Okay, five year plan. I just take North Korea. This was odd. This was quite odd. Don't understand it. <sighs> Ditching Middle East, load off my back. Good use of the five year plan this game. Wow, okay, awesome. He might have gunmen. He really might have gunmen. Oh my god, and I have Aldrich. And I have Asia. And any war games? <laughs> wow. Wow, okay, okay, okay. I have OPEC. Wow, okay. South America, though. Do I have a coup card? Not really. Pershing, I guess. Pershing could be a good headline here, though. Wow, yeah, North Sea Oil and UN. Oh my god, alright. Slow down and think about this. strong hand rear guards the space easy do I want to event Pershing okay, I think Ames is a headline there's no defectors what if he's headlining gunman I can't do anything about that an evil empire what do you got kid please if I see gunman Ooh, you sneaky, sneaky boy. He has war games. No gunman. What did he hold? Oh, he held war games. Wow, that was close, huh? If he had succeeded on that space, I don't think there was much I could have done. Okay, this is a weak hand, though. Look at these ops. Although I ran a war. Yeah, I ran a war is a good card here. One small step is also a good card here for him. I think I have to take away uh, Star Wars because He has a weak hand here. If I take away war games, look at these ops. Problem is, he'll get a Star Wars off, because he will space South African unrest. And if I space first, he'll event one small step. Then he'll play Star Wars. So this combo is quite annoying. If I, do, if I take war games and I don't space, and I wait for him to space, then the problem is that <laughs> I'm giving up VPs. And if he succeeds, then I fail. But I I think that actually might be the way to go here. Because look at his ops. Look at his ops. I can I can break a also China card. Can break havoc in Asia. He's not getting off of war games, that's not the point. Point is that I lower his ops. This was a good turn. OPEC, OPEC. How much can OPEC score for? I still get a coup here, right? Okay. I think I discard war games. Because I just want to lower his ops. And I'm going to gamble a little bit on Star Wars. I'm going to let him space, and I'm not going to space this turn. Because I can North North Sea Oil is free after I event OPEC. Okay, okay, okay. It's coming together. And the rear guards can be UN. And yeah. AWACS can be repaired, Muslim Revolution's in the deck. It all kind of works. We are back. Oh my god, I have 8 minutes. Oh my god, okay, 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 whoa, 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 what the heck. Okay. North Sea Oil is not free yet. Persian coup? Persian coup. Wait. Need to make a decision here. I'm playing North Sea Oil, right? After OPEC. Oh my god, okay, come on, come on, 8 minutes. I didn't see the time. AWACS gets repaired. I'm gonna UN rear guards. And I'm gonna coup Nigeria. No, this is dumb. Pershing is a good event, right? Pershing is a very good event. Yeah. A six, wow. Oh my god, I only have eight minutes. I am stressed. Oh, what did I do? Is this correct? What if he's just gonna realign me here? No, he's gonna space. Wait. 
Maybe this was a huge mistake. What did I do? I should have cooed Argentina. I'm getting greedy. He has a ton of two ops. He can just keep repairing my, my breaks. I don't have a four op unless I play China. Do I play China? I messed up. What did I just do? Oh, why did I go Nigeria? What, what, just, what was that? Yep, as expected. Failure. I'm not going to space this turn. Uh, event OPEC now. Okay, I'm actually going to go for this. I'm going to realign here. Let's go. Oh, this is risky. Oh, no! No, 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 I'm so dumb, I'm so stupid, I just lost the game. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I just lost the game. Yeah, I just lost the game. That was a 50-50, what was I thinking? It wasn't even plus one. No, 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 no. This is going to be my first YouTube video. <laughs> what did I just do? What did I just do? I think I threw away the game. Oh my god. I'll pick for ops here. Might even be okay. I have to play Asia at some point as well. I only need one up here, right? Maybe relaxed. I want to play China into Argentina. I'm going to have to spend so many ops just to get back to where I was. Okay, calm down. Calm down. Sorry. So, in hand, he has Summit, Star Wars. Yeah, Star Wars is just off here. Okay. I have to get the China card. How incredibly, incredibly stupid of me. Cannot believe I did that. I mean, yeah, that was just so ridiculously greedy. Wow. I don't even get OPEC off. South America is going to go for 5. Asia is going to go for 6. Alright, I'm going to be at 3. I'm going to be, be at 3. The only unscored region is going to be Central America, which is mine currently. And the board is going to stand 5 to 5, right? So these two cancel out. 6 to 6. These two cancel out. Wow. The board's pretty even. Okay. Alright, calm down. Calm down. You made a mistake. It's over. Just uh, focus. I have seven minutes, okay. So dumb, so stupid. I'm starting with the coup. I don't know why I just all of a sudden was like, hey, Nigeria. Yeah, even if he plays a two-op into... I, I'm expecting him to Iran-Iraq war event into Iraq. That, that's my expectation. That's what I think is going to happen here. Man, that was so bad. That was so, so, so bad by me. That was so bad. Worst play I've ever made in TS. Okay, that's not true. I've probably made something stupider where I lost the game instantly, but this was pretty bad. I had a clear advantage. I would have drawn South America. 
can't believe I just did that. I need to take India, by the way. Yeah, Pakistan is way too vulnerable right now to Indo-Pak. Also gave the China card to him. He's going to have a better... Okay, summit coup. Where's this coup happening? Nicaragua. Okay. That is very annoying. Because I cannot respond. What's a good break? Chili? Seems meh. Argentina. I mean, sorry, Algeria. Although he could reel on Algeria, but it's risky a little bit. I need to get off South America here. I need to get off South America here. realignment of course wow yeah I mean that was expected what am I doing I feel sick oh my goodness so bad so so bad I don't deserve to win this game after that play and I'm down well I mean okay it's just coming but Wait, should I play North Sea into India before scoring Asia? Yeah, I should if I'm going to take it anyways. I'm expecting, uh, what am I expecting here? It's one small step in Star Wars. So I didn't give him a chance to get him off. So two India. And one. Argentina or Uruguay maybe? Argentina. One Argentina. I need a strong last hand. Okay, Star Wars. Where's it going? Cuba. Ortega is not an issue. Yeah, smart. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. It's AR7. Bro. Whoa. What? Didn't I UN? I played the China card. Just another misstep. In a long line. I threw away this game. Now I'm just, yeah, I feel like I would have been in a solid position. And now I'm just kind of hoping I draw some good cards. When in fact there was no need to hope. I can get brush war here. Will bury you would be nice. I need VPs. Okay, so count the state of the board if he takes Central America. He's going to have 2 plus 5 is uh, 7 plus 6 is 13. 13 plus 4 is 17. 17 against 12 plus 3, 15. He's up 2. I should grab Milops here though. 1 Milop, I think. So he's up 1. He has China card. He's up 2. So he's up 2. Assume I get 1 for Milops. Game's hanging on a thread. Iranian hostage crisis, 4 VPs. I really need that card. Iranian hostage crisis, 4 VPs. India's a VP. Honestly, rest of the board is somewhat stillmated. Don't see a clear way for him to gain more VPs on the board. But Central America scoring is VPs. Um, Cal is VPs. Duck and Cover is VPs. Duck and Cover is not safe unless he also draws Will Bury You, actually. This is Cuba and somewhere else. Yep, okay, so he's up too. Assuming he holds the China card. Okay. Okay, I think this is a good hand. It's low ops. Special relationships problem. No hostage crisis. I might brush war Iran here. I think Iran brush war is actually the best move. Why did he headline so quickly? <laughs> Please, what well, he probably has uh, grain sales. Do I destyle? I'll say destyle seems kind of good here. Yeah, what did I 
do to myself? Special relationship because UK is overprotected, I think. No, it's not. Okay. Well, that's something. I'm going to headline detail. It's good against indo pak war as well. CIA. Oh my god, okay. I should have. Maybe I should have headlined Gunman. Okay, it's okay. Finland's not even completely useless. That's kind of funny. Okay, what's completely and utterly useless? Come on. Come on. Think about this. Finland could actually come in handy, though. That's the annoying thing. East Germany is also helpful. Poland is also helpful. He might headline, he might event John Paul if he sees I have solidarity. Wait. No, no, wait, wait, wait. Okay, no, he can't do that. Okay. So Poland is actually overprotected. Two. I think I can even afford three. Yes. Yes, that's safe. And I guess Finland. Although one from night No, uh, no, no. Uruguay is important. Vietnam. Yeah, Vietnam's pretty relevant, I think. He could fight me on country count. Yeah, I'm just overthinking now. This I don't feel good about this end of the game after those mistakes. Take one from Finland, you dummy. You have three here, so you don't need Finland. Argentina, India. It'll be 4-4 four, four if I flip it around, so I actually do need an op in Syria to go 5-4. Wait, no, I'm not going to be dominant, I'm just going to be stopping domination. Wait, 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 wait. Time, time, time! Uh-oh. Uh, Argentina. And... Uruguay. I don't know. Whatever, screw it. Shoot, I completely forgot about that. Uh, panicking. Two minutes and thirty seconds. Two minutes, three minutes. Okay. I mean, these styles are four up, basically, so that's good. Maybe I shouldn't have played it this early, but I don't know now. I wish he drew Gunman and Ortega. But I'm about to see his hand. What, what does he do here with the one up? He probably coos Nigeria, I think. What? Gunman. Yeah, Central America scoring. Huntel, Wilbury, Missile Envy. Okay, okay, okay. It's not a super strong hand. I don't have time, though. I don't have time. Why did I spend so much time on that? He has Junta. Junta actually does not do much. Socialist is bad. Blockade is bad. His highest playable op is a two op. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. I actually have chances here. Oh my god. No, I don't. Bruh. Are you kidding me? I don't want to waste spend my brush war in Africa. Central America scoring. It's just a dash to the end, right? I think I spaced before him. That's uh, That seems like a priority. Mercy Oil is a card that I cannot play under any circumstances. Damn it. Okay, 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 okay. I lose, I think. I don't know. Do I? What do I brush war? What do I do about Africa? This is going one on each side, right? Yep. Solidarity. He has a China card. Don't forget. He has a China card in addition to all those cards. Slow down for one second. Jamil, slow down, slow down. Oh my god. Rushwar Iran is 4 VPs. Africa is also 4 VPs. Um, um, 
Is Dead Crisis possible? Wait a second, it is. No, no, he has broken it. Are you kidding me? Come on, dude. I lost, I think. I lost. Yeah. Just a stupid game by me. Take Iron Lady. That's risky. No, no, he knows he would get Iron Lady. Okay. <laughs> okay, wait. But I have a chance here. Yeah, it's game. I don't have the VPs anywhere. What's the most impactful brush war? Even if it's against the odds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I need to actually overprotect Europe, which I can't do. Which I can't actually. I can break West Germany. He has a China card though. Yeah, it's GG's. I lose. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, I think South America is the most impactful brush war of five. Because the Middle East is a uh, influence. Oh, wait. Okay, this is good for me. Oh, wait. Social economists. Oh, this guy. Yeah. I can't even brush water there. And Latin American debt crisis will uh, realign Nigeria and uh, mm. this game. Went to event. Where though? Okay. How much time do I have? 30 seconds, about. Tunisia to stop the domination? This is not going to happen. Tunisia to stop the domination. That's the beauty of the game, Michael. No, that's not the beauty of the game. I'm so mad at myself. <laughs> ah. The pressure makes you make mistakes. Yeah, I felt like I was in a pressure cooker. Hey, I gave Michael Stryker a run for his money. Probably probably should have won that game, honestly, with how weak his last hand was. And I would have held the China card. And I would have everything would have been good if I didn't do that stupid move in South America. Very true. Man, 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 man. I'll tell him I'll report because then I can attach the video as well. I'll report the game. With Tim later today, Tim Furrow. You already played Tim Furrow. Oh hey, oh, I don't know. I don't. Maybe he's talking about a different Tim. Oh Tim Toe maybe. Good luck and see ya. All right. How much rating did I lose? Nine points? Eh, whatever. Yeah, so uh, I'm gonna end the video here, guys. Um, again, please, any feedback <laughs> on my play, <laughs> I mean, it would be much appreciated. But even on like audio, I don't know how good my audio is. I don't know how much background noise you could hear. Um, I don't know how clear this video is. I hope it's clear. Uh, just let me know. It's my first time doing something like this. How good my commentary is. Maybe I'm talking too much, talking too loud. I feel like I made a lot of weird noises, which I'm sorry. I apologize for. Um, yeah. 
Yeah, 16 seconds to go on my clock. I I spent, I don't know why I destal. I, that's not a spot where I should have spent like two minutes thinking. I just didn't, I forgot about time and, and yeah. But hey, uh, <laughs> I can't even say I'm happy about the game I played. I'm kind of happy about the game I played. I feel like I played solid for the most part, just some glaring mistakes. Should have been aware of Missile Envy here, and I should have. I should have not done this Norad Quagmire. I don't know what I was thinking, um, although I probably explained my reasoning. ABM headline here would have been so much better. In hindsight, I know it's easy to say, but I think even at the time, it should have been obvious that Quag is not a headline when you have Norad in hand. And then, of course, this realign. This realign, and even the decision to coup in, uh, to coup in Nigeria was weird. It was not good. Um, but yeah, anyways, guys, that's all for me. And uh, take care. Bye.